Hello guys, and welcome to Crusader Kings 3, a game of thrones. Today, we are going to be playing as Lord Randall Tarly of the West March. Lord Randall is, of course, a very, very impressive commander, and a, just a great fighter, uh, one of the best in the realm. And in this war, Robert's Rebellion, that is where he made his name. But as such, we are going to make our name. Well, I'm slightly unwell, so apologies uh, for that. Uh, but I still wanted to bring you guys a series. I wanted to bring you guys something new. Uh, the CK2 series is going to be continuing. Uh, my plan is every Monday we're going to be having a new CK2 video as sort of the main series. And then uh, during the week we'll be having uh, parts of this series, uh, our CK3 sort of playthrough. I chose Randall Tarly, as Randall is in a very interesting position where he can expand quite well in the Reach. Because CK2, I kind of like telling a story. And that's why CK2 is going to be the focus of my editing and, my, you know, my time and my focus. But CK3 just isn't as good for storytelling. And, and it's very unfortunate. I, I enjoy the game, but it's just not CK2. CK2 is so much more enjoyable for me that... Um, you know, it's it, it's unfortunate, but we'll make it work. We'll make it work. So, what is the plan as Lord Randall? Well, we are going to, before anything, join the war. Because we are going to be sort of the, the vanguard of the armies here. We're going to be loyal to Lord Mace Terrell, uh, who is loyal in quotation marks to Aerys Targaryen. Uh, obviously... In actuality, Mace kind of played both sides. He uh, mostly focused on sieging Storm's End, without really intending to actually siege Storm's End, uh, so that he could play both sides. You could tell Aerys that he spent his time sieging an important castle, and, you know, if Robert wins, he can go, oh, but I never was actually truly fighting you out. I was, I was trying to be kind and all this sort of stuff. Though the Battle of Ashford certainly... Um, would ring in Robert's mind. And maybe there will be a Battle of Ashford. I do kind of hope there'll be a Battle of Ashford so that I have a chance to prove myself, as that is where Randall makes his name. But, nonetheless, we are going to grant this to Alan Tarly, who I have looked... I can't find any proof of an Alan Tarly existing. I think that this is a move by the game to keep House Tarly alive, because if Randall dies during the war... Because, you know, a lot of characters die during the war. House Tarly... Uh, so, uh, in the description you'll see a sort of list of all of the mods which we are going to be including for this game, and one of them is one called Cannon Children. I had a long think about this one, about if I wanted it or not, and I decided I did, because I want the first generation to, to follow the path. I, I do want that. I want to see some expected names popping up all across Westeros, and, you know, eventually moving their path onto ruling through those manners. Uh, if you want a more alternative history game, Take a look at my CK2 series. CK2 series, I don't have any such mods, and the CK2 series has already gone far off course already. But um, let's raise all of our armies, and we are going to be loyal to the warrior. So the sort of... Um, I think that takes me up to 40, right? It's 40 prowess. The sort of thought of this let's play is going to be, as I've said, conquest, sort of more as a, a focus than you would usually expect. Okay, this will, it will re enable soon. And we'll get a maester. It's sort of my belief that sadly the game just isn't as uh, polished as CK2 feels. And CK2 isn't actually that polished, but you know, it also is at the same time. So it's, it is what it is. Sort of a stupid term which I'm not a huge fan of but in, in this case it is true it, it is what it is this game maybe it will grow and it will be more akin to sort of what we'd expect uh looks like um house Thornton is doing their plan and we didn't get summer hall to unite with the reach but this time they've actually been successful because looks like Robert is a bit outnumbered over there he's he's steering clear looks like we're just gonna be doing some random sieging which it's sort of par for the course of what Mace would want, as I've mentioned. So we are just going to do that. Uh, the 
Targaryen army is over here near the Crownlands. Let's see. Oh, I can't actually siege that. I don't have enough men. All right, we'll just we'll just stand idle then. There we go. There's the first sort of the the cannon children being born. As you can see, it even gives them a couple of uh, things to make them more. And while, you know, if Randall himself was training, he'd say, Marshall, 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 Marshall. I am actually going to train him on learning because I want him to be like actual Sam. I think that'd be quite interesting to, to raise him to be the, the Sam Otali, you know, that we know, and, we know and love. So it looks like Dawn is actually getting involved, but once again, they're doing what Dawn kind of did where they aren't actually committing to the war. Uh, Dawn was sort of forced in by uh, Eris because Eris had um, um, the Dawn sort of uh, sister, uh, where is it, Elia. There she is, Princess Elia. Uh, as she was Rhaegar's bride, she was sort of held captive uh, by Eris and was, you know, made he made threats towards Dawn that if they didn't aid, bad things would happen to her. And that sort of forced the hand a bit. I do love that we actually do look a lot like the the man on our um our crest. I really like that. We are the first in battle after all. <laughs> yeah, so Dawn wasn't too interested in joining. It looks like for some reason Eris is uh, coming down to join us over here. I guess we're all deciding not to get involved in the war. <laughs> we we actually secretly want Ned and uh, and uh, <laughs> Robert to win. Oh, they're not doing much either. They're just sieging down Lake Haven. Can I join this siege, or would that just overstack it? What's what's the situation in the siege currently? At the fort level's too high, regardless of stacking. Okay, it's just we don't have siege equipment. That's a problem. Not many of the armies actually do start with siege equipment. I think Eris does, but not many people do. Ned's coming down to join the armies of the north. Oh, and we have a offer. Oh, it's it's with our brother. Okay, I'll accept an ally with alliance with my brother. There we go. Look, the Rhaegar King Eris's host has joined, and just like that, boom, sieging it down. Faction created against me. Whatever for. And there are three members of it. Let's try and sway. Uh, I'll also put you on... Oh, she's terrible at managing domain. Okay, she could say assisting ruler then. Let's try and get the order up over here. Yeah, by the looks, yeah, the... F what is up with this faction? Everybody wants to be a part of it. Why are you a part of it? I'm going to send you a gift. Oh, 110! Is there anyone who would accept maybe a cheaper gift? Because <laughs> they're on the council. Now, what about you? Fine, I'll pay the most to him, but maybe it might. There we go, it knocks him out. That's good. I just don't want to have to deal with a faction once this war's over, unfortunately. Let's employ both strategies, and let's sway him. Looks like we can get this battle done, and then maybe we can try and meet them at the Trident. I know I can sort of pull the armies a little bit by moving, but I won't do that until we've done this siege. My daughter Tala has been born. Uh, we're going to raise her in diplomacy. Is that the siege? There we go. Right, let's get moving north. I think the armies will follow me if I pull them a bit. Because usually they do. Because, yeah, Robert's up to 30% here. This is... Because he's taken one of the capitals. Even if it's of someone, someone who really doesn't matter. I'm going to move up this way and see if they stick with me they they kind of are but are also sort of heading their own way let's try and meet them near uh, rice marie okay they're, okay they're looking to take the bridge crossing that makes sense i guess very suspenseful music here i'm sort of holding up the rear rather than the front here i'm very much the rear guard but the rear guard's an important role so i don't think i'd be upset with the rear guard uh mace at the front me at the rear is fine I think we're trying to meet at King's Landing here by the looks of it. I'm not apropos to that idea. I think it's smart to meet somewhere we control. I'm not going to station any men's arms. I don't have the... 
uh, all the DLCs. I don't think I had the newest DLC because I kind of just didn't really feel the need for the new DLC. <laughs> From what I've heard, it's it's got some good things, but the DLCs have been really kind of subpar for CK3. But uh, there's some that have really stood out to me. There's some made me go, wow, okay. You know, this game has potential. This game does have potential. I really do think it does, but I just love CK2, and I think CK2 is just such a great game. Eris's host want to join this one and actually siege? Oh no, they're sieging this one. Okay. So what's the, the plan here by the Stormland? Which army is Robert actually in? Hmm. Okay, he's in this army over here. At least that's his host, and he usually leads his host. Uh, same as Rhaegar. Let's just stay passive. Siege these down. If they go for King's Landing, because they, they might go for King's Landing, and if they do, we will be uh, here to intercept them. How's that faction looking? Okay, good. It's only these two. Faction should not fire now. Uh, maybe I have the coin for a building in Cornerstone. I do. I want to get a little bit of building during this. Um, some defences. Build up a hill fort. Marshall Perk. Let's get the friendly advantage. Uh, because if I do lead the armies, I want to have all the advantages I can get so we can win the battle. How much of this is battle score? Eight. So they did win. They did win some battles, probably against really small haggling armies. And Tywin hasn't picked a side either, and Tywin usually doesn't until very late on, so. What is their plan here? They're just gonna siege all of uh, Lake Haven. Imagine being good House Goodbrook here, and you're just like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> like He's just he's just trying to ruin me. <laughs> I'd I'd be upset if I was if I was House Goodhaven. I'd be like, what? Robert, what did I do to you? But, you know, maybe this could be like a thing of trying to secure the Riverlands because House Harrenhal is, is sided with uh, the Lord of the Riverlands. So Lake Haven's the only outlayer here. But I still don't think it'd be a great idea. So, or Trident's Mouth is more what they would be uh, they'd be going for. So, which obviously that's what they actually did. But, um... Bestow Royal Favour. Hey, thank you, thank you. Little Paramount mates. We love Mace. Or at least for now, we tolerate Mace. Obviously, in the books, uh, the relationship between Mace and Randall is a very interesting one. Uh, we don't know how it's going to fully develop. Okay, yeah, they are just literally sieging down all of Lake Haven. <laughs> but I guess because they have one of the capitals, it is worth a lot more, right? What's giving them the 30? So is it, yeah, so owning the Lordship of Lake Haven is just 10 more score. They're not going to get it because of the cap. The cap, they need to fight battles. The more we siege, the the more the cap's going to be a problem for them. Once it gets Poddingfield, I think we should go up and try and get them. Because even if we unsiege Lake Haven, that's huge for us. And it can really turn things. But Because we're minus 30 right now. Because we've just kind of sat here and let it happen. Three months. I'll boost the speed a little bit. Just for this siege. Because we're not going to move until the siege is done regardless. They're still sieging. Looks like they have um, some attrition up there. Let me move the speed down. Right, where are they going? I think let's head north, boys. Can I convince you to head north by following me? What's, what are you going to do? Looks like he's just heading to King's Landing. Okay, they are heading into King's Landing. Okay, they're heading north. They're heading north. Mace. Mace, don't head that far north. Mace. Okay, so Mace has just decided to get one of his armies killed there. Yeah, that's not going to work, Mace. You've just had your entire army killed doing that. I'm not really sure what the intention was there. Okay, so Mace is going to try and retreat. I mean, he is actually drawing them out with this retreat here. There we go. Right, we're into a battle. Oh, they do they actually have the numbers on us? No, oh. Because the, Martell, the Martells are out of the battle. 
If we can hold until the Martells get here, we might have this. Right, the Martells are joining. There is no end to opinions of the ones of my son and it. Okay, he's bossy. Don't think that that just sounded great. Wow, Thornton has changed their mind. A huge moment as House Thornton leaves the battle. But uh, Lord Lord Alric here is certainly not a great commander of war as he's uh, lost us the battle. Uh, we're retreating to Maidenpool. Okay, we're all, we're all kind of retreating in different directions here. I'm going to retreat down to the Iron Throne. But no, they, they have this war now because they, I think... Did they get Rhaegar? No, he's still alive. Interesting. So Rhaegar's fine. So did Robert and Rhaegar not have the battle that they usually do? What are they doing? So they're kind of looping around now? Okay. Well, they're going to fight me here, and nobody's going to come save me, are they? No. Nope. Well, that's great. And there goes my army as well. <sighs> the AI in CK3. This this alone is a reason why I really think CK2 is still superior. Like, the, the inability to, to get them to join these battles is just really annoying. Uh, let's get the taxes up. Oh, and because of the armies, they're now both individually more powerful than me. Fucking hell. And now Lord Owen has a hook on me. Don't know who that even is. <laughs> and I'm still probably in battle, right? Yeah, I'm still leading Mace's army here. I'm in the, uh, the army of a high garden. I'd love if I could control it as the marshal, but... This war, this war's all but done here, and uh, without the sort of victory at Ashford, Randall's going to be uh, struggling to gain favour here. So it's it's going to be very interesting to see sort of what we can do to sort of get a name here because we don't have a victory over Robert, but I still think we 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 have some adept sort of tactics. It's just that the rest of the army are absolutely moronic. Well, Rhaegar is still alive, so I don't know how this uh. This war's going to go here. If Robert's just going to be okay with Rhaegar being alive. <laughs> he gave me royal favour and then he took royal favour from me. Yeah, there's no point in me calling in my army here. There's not a lot they'd be able to do. There's, there's only They're still only half regained here. And by the time they even bother getting a battle, the war will be over. Like, this siege here in Barry, I think, will literally end the war. But the AI isn't smart enough to tell that. Um, let's get Casaspell I cost. Because what I'm going to do is, if we are out this war, I'm going to come back down here. And I'm going to make my first play within the reach. And I'm going to go for Alden Any. And just gobble them up. Yeah, we're going to have a war where both Rhaegar and Robert live. <laughs> and Eris, because Jamie's not going to kill him. Well, Robert will take his place on the Iron Throne, at least. I think the war definitely ended up lasting longer than it would have. Still betrothed to Liana. Perhaps Liana may survive and, and, and change things up for, uh... I was about to say for Tywin. But Tywin Lannister is dead. He died under mysterious circumstances and now the imp is in charge of the Westerlands. Well, that's something. That's certainly something. Uh, let's... What can we get in Hornhill as a building? Hornhill having those two at level 6 is huge. Uh, let's get Defender Advantage. Some more hill farms. I want to be very defendable in Hornhill. 
Well, that's a hundred percent. But the war is not over. What oh is Samantha is ill? I don't do no more than necessary. With the war at a hundred percent, it is not ending. Does Robert not want to enforce peace here? Does he? Maybe he won't until Rhaegar is dead. But no, there we go. I was gonna say. Lord Stannis shall be granted. Oh, he's changed history. I wonder how King Robert will rule. <laughs> Let's hope I am not in prison for long. Maybe I can ask Robert to let me go. Uh, for a hook. He takes he take all my gold, would he? Yeah. Okay. A good deal. Why? Oh, am, am I still on the road? Why am I not... Why do I have my wife as a regent? I'm back home, am I not? Um... <laughs> why is... Why is my wife my regent still? It says I'm back home. Do I... Do I even have the travelling features? Because if so, am I... Am I travelling? Because I really don't know how any of this travelling stuff works. Okay, I, oh, I have to end Regency manually. I did not know that. That is weird. Right, well, we are back home. And King Robert was victorious. But it is, it does indeed look like... Yielding Defender. Oh, well, he's an aggressive attacker. It does unfortunately look like Lyanna Stark died at the Tower of Joy. And to confirm that, let's have a look if there's a little Jon Snow around here. There is not, because... Rob died. Ned died. He was killed. He was killed at the Tower of Joy. Well, what does this mean? Eddard Stark was slain by Arthur Dane at the Tower of Joy. And Arthur Dane disappeared without a trace. Interesting. Is Connington still around? Yeah, Lord J John Connington's around, so I guess that means that uh, Arthur Dane has fled to Essos with uh, Jon Snow, perhaps. Well, that's sort of a alternate history already, then. I wonder what we're gonna get with a uh, Ned Stark. I mean, uh, with a uh, uh, Jon Snow. I mean, I I am um... okay. We 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 survived the pox. I'm very much of the mind that I may force events or may make stuff happen to make a better story, but the problem is in CK3, it's a lot more difficult, you need save editing and stuff, it's not as easy as in CK2 to tell the story, so, I'm leaving the storytelling for CK2, is, is what I'm getting at here, <laughs> unfortunately, but it's kind of the only way, Let's see, so we're going to try and get a claim on all many, they do have allies, so, not super powerful allies, but allies nonetheless. Whereas I could also go for a uh, green wall after. I want to basically get all of these and then maybe have this given to me. Because uh, if I get a claim on it and then appeal to Lord Mace, he may give me Manderslide. Uh, which I would... We're bound by blood? We are? How? Um... I'm very confused about what blood we have that we share. Is it one of your relatives or something? I don't know. Oh no, I'm literally missing the first line. Despite our lack of bonds. No, I don't want to ally with Old Hills. O Old Hills I see more as a threat than anything. What I want to do is get a marriage and get an alliance with uh, possibly Old Town. Chad Dickon has been born. He's absolutely getting a martial focus. And uh, maybe Gold Golden Grove is always a good ally to have. Um, yeah, either of those would be a really strong ally if I can get a marriage. In fact, now I have so many kids, let's marry off Samantha, who is possessed, because why not? Marry off my possessed kid. So the highest alliances I could get are out of the... I could get the I think the Arbor would be perfect, right? Oh, and they take a matrilineal. Let's do a matrilineal marriage to get an alliance with the Arbor. 
They're not too far from us. It's just that they'd have to take a boat. <laughs> Lord Paxter Redwine and I are now uh, allies. Wonderful. Let's get the speed up. And, okay, we'll put us in debt for a little while. But we now have a claim on Old Nanny, and we'll work on a claim on Green Wall. Let's see. I actually want to increase the development in Horn Hill. We don't need to petition the liege. Domestic affairs is always good when you have this many vassals. Uh, and I prefer to organise the army than trade commanders. Okay. Very good at court politics, actually, my wife. Maybe I should put her on court politics. Okay, no, I have to keep her on assist ruler to get to the main holding bonus. Wow, okay. Well, that's something. <laughs> Lord Garth has made a claim. He's given land to Garth? Yeah, there's Garth has given land. Why would you give lands to Garth? He's immediately going to um, try and use it against you. A claim on Torrent Peak. Oh, it's not my claim, though. Let's see. So how many allies would he have? I could take him by myself. Which I think I'm too brazen to not try and take him by myself here. Let's try and take him before he crosses the river. Or just try and catch him in general here. I think we got him here. Yep. There we go. Lord Old Flowers has been captured. Or, uh... He himself hasn't been captured. He is... As far as I can tell, this guy does absolutely not exist. Um, House Old Flowers? Maybe. No, I'm, I'm within my right here, Mace. Come on. Let's, let's, um... Sway Mace now. Try and get Mace on side. But the thing, the thing with House Old Flowers in this game is that they are given a lot of... I mean, movement speed. They are given a lot of um, things that they just wouldn't have. They're, they're even assuming, because it's kind of assuming to assume that they are a bastard house of Gardener. That's just kind of guessed because of the name Old Flower. Because, you know, Old Flower, you'd be like, oh, they're, they're you know, related to the flowers who are the gardeners. But the that in itself is kind of a flawed logic, because there's no proof of it. I personally believe that Old Flowers is just... A bars of House of Gardeners for the same reason that House Vickery is and um, House Salt is. Because House Salt also does not exist. House Salt is a reference to Sam Salt, but Sam Salt doesn't, as far as I can tell, is not a member of a house. He just claims to be a part of House Jorge. Uh, yeah, let's get that claim as well for right after this. Come on, Mace, you should love me. I'm, I'm your marshal. Of course I'm going to go to war. I need me some land. I can already ransom off some prisoners. Uh, oh, for full money? Yeah, I'll, I'll ransom off full money. Oh, even more money? Lovely. Look how rich we're getting. Hmm. Is he good? No, he's not good yet. Go back to the hedge and, and learn. He immediately died. <laughs> I thought they meant to train and get better, but it just seems they instantly die every time. So... Uh, let's get the hill forts upgraded. Or hill fields, I guess. Well, Maze is training himself on um, Marshall for some reason. A very interesting choice by Maze, who is also apparently fading in and out of existence there. <laughs> His background changing every 10 seconds. Uh, move you as a steward. Hmm. Got some okay commanders at least. Let's get one of the commanders in so I can get the lifestyle focus. How are we looking with factions? It's only Russeting. Who is disloyal? Willis Willis and Sambo are becoming friends. That's like a great idea. So it's him who is who is not loyal. He's a zealot. Good for you, lad. Do I have another ransom? They're just giving me money. <laughs> it's the same guy. He keeps rushing into a battle with me and dying and then giving me the land. There we go. Enforce demands. Disband the army. But yeah, my wife sucks, so we don't have much of a chance with um, being able to hold all three of these. Because I would. I don't mind White Hand Castle. I'd like a White Hand Castle. But uh, we will grant it. 
Uh, do I want to grant it to one of my children? How's Sam actually looking? Sam, despite me training him on learning, Sam is already becoming a marshal. <laughs> like, Sam is uh, very different to what he would be, and Dickon's not great. Uh, let's give the title to Sam. This is a different timeline already. Sam is is becoming a very different man to how he actually was. I mean, it's, it's the bossy that must be doing it for him. So there we go. Uh, in this timeline, things maybe go different for uh, Sam Tarly. Okay, Mace is not swayed. Uh, do I want a Grand Tawny? I think we should do a Grand Tawny. Uh, I'll only watch the final jousts. I don't know. Obviously, I don't have the Tawny bloody um, DLC. So we don't have that stupidly massive Tawny thing. Which can be cool, but is also sometimes just a little overkill. I'm not betting on any of these. Made a better warrior win. Made a better warrior win. It was a thrilling tilt. And the winner was from Perrygate in Old Town. Congratulations, Master Davin. He's lowborn. Can I... Am I able to give him a... I feel like you knight him, uh, someone lowborn, after winning a tourney like that. There are a few things tempting as an unexplored sept. I can get an artifact. I can study the tome and then put it back. Or I can give it to Robin. Now I'll keep it. Prowess and piety per captain. That sounds like a pretty good bloody deal. Right, let's um, station them in Horn Hill. Can I afford another army? I could afford some light footmen. Which I actually will get. I believe the reach one, reach bonus, is the Guardians of the Marches. I inherited Sunwatch. Right, so Sunwatch has now been given to me. And he's, I mean, he's literally a loyal knight. I think it makes sense to give it to him then. As a loyal knight, you shall be granted this. Uh, we'll get retreat losses. Get our army just super, super good before we get more captains. I mean, I also can now get a claim on him because he's super weak. <laughs> like, Garth the Gross is very, very weak. And he's literally a threat to Mace. Mace should want rid of him. But I have a feeling Mace won't. Look, my, look how awesome my contract is now. <laughs> I have fortification rights, and I'm protected from title revocation. And my taxes are great. War declaration. Sanction war declaration. I can declare war regardless of it, and I pay 50% less for cast of spell eyes. So if I can do that, and then if I increase my feudal levies, I get more, but... I mean, that's literally a thousand more. Whereas that's only two two more a month. I want to I want to get this because I don't know if what does March do? So March makes my armies cheaper, which I think is why I want regardless, right? Scuttlege is the same. No, this gives me huge bonuses to my levy side. So I want to be a March, and I want to have Saxon War Declaration just in case he increases it again. I'm happy paying slightly more taxes to to protect that in the future. I don't know if it means that he like gets angry if I do wars, but I am going to go do a war. <laughs> and if he gets angry, he'll get angry. But he can't take my title. Right. See, this is this is another thing about how just easy conquest is in CK3. In CK2, I wouldn't even have, like, one of these claims, let alone two, because I'd be spending years on the RNG to just get one of them, which arguably also isn't great. But it's so easy to just conquer absolutely everything. Like, I could be the king of Westeros in, like, two generations, which is why I'm going to pace myself a little bit. I, I really think there's potential in this game, but I just think the way it's being sort of played right now is is not great. Uh, let's get a trebuchet so we do have siege equipment because doing this has made me realize we don't have siege equipment. I won't raise it for this war though. 
I will do is which of these should I? Oh, Gunners, I, Gunners and the Marchers should be stationed. I'll station them after this. Okay, loot. Ooh. God, I, I'm arrogant, but like, I think I'd lie for him. Actually, he already is slightly amazing. No, I'll, I'll be arrogant. <laughs> I'll be a prick. I'm Randall Tarling. Everybody knows I'm a prick. Uh, see it done. Look at that. Literally, just as we got household savings to pay for it, we now have a claim here as well. I just want to basically clean up some of these lesser lords. I'm not going to deal with old hills yet. I do think old hills is sort of the natural progression. Is sort of gobble up and surround old town, you know? And then maybe go for old town, but definitely sort of surround it. Uh, sort of, I want to basically be the lord of at least this lower part of the reach. I mean, the, the goal would be, if this was CK2, the goal would be to be, like, master of... of this, dear Lord, he's not getting remarried. <laughs> would be, like, you know, the... If I was the child... If I was on the council, sorry. If I was on the council of Robert, that would be my goal. But you can't do that in CK3. Because you can only be on your liege's council. Whereas I believe in CK2 if you're invited. I think, actually, in CK3, if you are invited, you can be. But the AI just won't invite uh, people. But for multiplayer games, you can you can do it. CK3 is definitely, and I'll make this clear, CK3 is a lot, 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 lot better for multiplayer games. Oh, now that's a nickname. Lord Randall the Strong? Oh, my. I'll absolutely take that as a name. Right, let's get rid of you. There we go. That will be enough, and we will enforce our demands and disband. And I will also give Sam... This title too. Because he's clearly just such a good huntsman in this timeline. Despite having a learning focus. I mean, his learning is, is doing very, very good as well. Maybe it's because I need to be... If I'm his um, guardian... Because I decided I wanted the Sept. Because if you don't pick one, the Sept is my one. But I guess if I'm his guardian... I'll be his guardian. I don't know if that one means that he'll be even better at, uh... Hey, I, you know, I, I can't, I can't change it. But when he turns 12 and I can change it again, I will change it to Source. Because he just seems so good at it. But I'll be his guardian. I did see in the new DLC, which I am actually a fan of, is... I'm sure, I'll let it go. Um, is... Apparently he paid me, but he didn't say he would pay me. There we go. <laughs> and we'll have an alliance with our son. God, I could go to War of Garth already. But, you know, according to the new DLC, they're going to be adding wet nurses and stuff to add some more roleplay and more um, stuff for the early stages of a life. But I, I think this is a good step in the right direction. I think they they need a lot more roleplay elements to actually make you feel like you're sort of one with your uh, character, which for me has just never felt that way. I do want, I'm going to see if I can get a claim on Manderslide and see if I can get him to give it to me. Because it was a tactic I did uh, to get Castamere in one of my Vickery games at the very start. When the Petition Leech thing came out, was I got Castamere. Because obviously it belongs to Robert, uh, to a Tywin at GameStop. But here he's given it to Lord Tiger. Let's see, what do I think... Mace is getting fat, by the way. What do I think Mace would like? Mace would like Diplomacy if I, if I can... Uh, Diplomatic Matters, yeah. Let's see. Divine focus. What's invigorated? I'll take the health bases, absolutely. Yes, Mace loves me. See, uh, look at that. I'm already back in Mace's good books. Even if his wife doesn't like me. What does Elena think of me? Elena's cool with me. Um, I'll also be Dickon's guardian. And I can change his contract? I don't see a need to change his contract. And look at that, I'm getting even more um, feudal taxes. Wonderful. Time to reap what we've sown. I did consider in the mod going with the... I'll read that in a sec. Going with the option that exists where you can make everybody have a maximum of one domain. Even including like the... Lord Paramounts, because that is, you know, what actually happens, like, the Starks basically only have Winterfell. 
Should have seen this start to the Civil War, but look at that in a sec. Tell you it, uh, the Lannisters only have uh, Castle Lee Rock, because even Lannisport is owned by sort of a cadet's branch. Although Lannisport is arguably kind of just a city attached to Castle Lee Rock, and they are one and the same as well. But stuff like Sunspear is Martell's home, the Storm's End is, is the... Yeah, it's, it's sort of that kind of situation where High Garden is also their only sort of thing, and you just have vassals underneath, which is which is realistic. There are sub houses at Square Fealty to like that, but I think CK Three sort of relies a little bit on having multiple, so I'm happy to keep it that way. Uh, I'm fine with him being cynical. So let's have a look at what the hell's going on up here. Is this a war of tyranny? It is for Lord Benjamin Stark's flame. And they have a huge... It is 7,000 troops versus 42,000. I think Benjamin's going to take the north here. So the Lord of the Barrowlands has decided, no, Benjamin Stark is far better than the boy King Robert. And so Benjamin is being currently... Um, is currently fighting for... And he's currently only holds Brandswood. But he is fighting for a title of the north. Interesting. Looks like uh, Rob's going to fail. I don't think Benjamin would ever do that. I think Benjamin, like, knew. I guess the death of Ned would change history of, of, of you know, Benjamin joining the war. Because in the North, joining the war is an honourable thing to do. Exile is dishonourable, which is why Jorah gets uh, exiled. What is Jorah up to right now? Uh, I don't know where he is. Lord Jor the Bear is currently the Lord Commander. Oh, Jorah died. There we go. I was going to say, because I was thinking, where's Mages? Yeah, so he was slain by the Sword of Morning Arthur Dane in a battle. Who hasn't? Who wasn't slain by Arthur Dane in this time of night before Arthur Dane disappeared into the fucking night? Okay, now with a claim on Manderside. The question would be if I would be granted it by Lord Mace. But I don't think I could give this to Sam because I think 2 is already above Sam's level. I think, yeah, I think 2 is already... I'm pushing Sam a little bit here by giving him 2 because he is still a child. Am I able to change his learning focus? No. 12 is the age in CK2 that you could change it. But I guess you can't do it like that in this. So, who's Lord Garth's allies? He's an ally with Florin and Starpike. Starpike is the actual threat there, though. Lord Robert's Hunt. Robert of where? Of Sunnyvale. Um, I mean, I like hunts, but... Would I go this far for a hunt? It's barely in the reach. It's literally on the border of the reach. No, I won't go to the hunt. Where's Lord Russell? Well, he's closer. I think I will go to Lord Russell. Uh, and we will just... Hire a mercenary. What the hell's wrong with this guy's moustache? Soup. So I can pick recreation. Oh, recreation is the only option. Okay. Get back on your horse. Okay. Well, I guess we're picking the perilous option here. I could gain the trait rude. I don't see a need in that. Well, they failed on. <laughs> I did get the trait hunter, which is sort of what I wanted, because it didn't make sense that he doesn't start with the trait hunter. Because he's a bloody hunter. Hmm. I've tried to come. So I can ask him to tell me my future. I'm not interested. Or yeah, I'm sadistic. I'm sadistic. Let's kill him. I'm not risking my life. Kill him. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. He desecrated a tomb. So it's Raskar of Messas, blessed son of Russeting. Um, so let's see, I could get popular opinion and Russ he gets I don't get it though. Yeah, like I want if I'm getting that, I want it, not you. <laughs> do I need to keep swaying mace? I do actually, it's not that high with mace. Um Dicky music elsewhere. I don't have the money for music right now. How is the development in Horn Hill looking? Eight development. Even less development than Corn Sand. Why does it start with such low dev? Interesting. It's got good development growth though, at least. Uh, let's get some control in old and any. Help out my boy. Manfred. Let's have a look at who I can actually get as a uh, knights here. He costs 150, but he's 24. Bit expensive. Uh, let's station the Guardians of the Marches in Cornerstone. Decent, decent size of army, for certain. 7k troops. Uh, yeah, let's put it to the test. Let's go after Lord Garth. Generous, fickle, or Garrigan. Generous is the first trait that's actually sounded like Samwell. That's all I'll say. Uh, let's see if I can catch him before he gets the assistance. Yes, I can. Okay, it looks like he is trying to unite his armies with them. But they are crossing a river to fight me. So I don't see this going well. Ooh! So this is from the fruit trees I picked earlier. It's giving me prestige and holding taxes. Lovely. Definitely will take that. Oh dear! Mace Terrell has died. What killed him? Died from his wounds. I don't know where he got the wounds in, but he is an incompetent commander. Well, his son Willis has taken the fort, and Willis Willis seems like a proper a proper. I mean, look at just look at that. Seventeen sixteen. That alone is better than Mace. Although I think the gate. I think they're kind of basing Mace a little bit more off the shows, so they're kind of derating his stats. That I think is a little unfair to him. Well, we are at war, but with the death of Mace Terrell, I think we'll call the first episode here. A very unfortunate fate for Mace Terrell, but a fate nonetheless. Randall Tarly still healthy in his prime, with young Samuel growing into quite the sort of, not an incredible warrior, but certainly a well-balanced ruler. Not the disappointment that he, he became. Well, a disappointment in the eyes of Randall, at least. Dickon growing in his brother's shadow here. Well, with changes in the reach, I'll see you guys next time. See how this progresses.